I need to talk. I can't serve you if I can't trust you, if I can't believe in what you're working for. I try to walk in the light and transform the Empire from within. That's all I can promise. But into what? What kind of Empire do you see? You can't change the dark side. How do you propose to change an Empire rooted in it? That's why I wanted you at my side. I need your guidance. I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience. But I'll do what I can. I'm realizing there's a lot I don't understand about the Empire. There's a lot I don't understand about the Empire. How can you support an Empire that actively enslaves and spits on your people? This is not the life I chose. But I'm making the best of what I've been given. You shouldn't have to compromise who you are. You don't have to stay, you know. You could go to the Republic. Jedi have too many rules. The Sith may hate me, but at least I can do what I want. Might be more freeing than you think. Sure, there are rules, but it beats looking over your shoulder every five seconds. What was your master like? You had a master, right? Sith don't exactly respect their masters the way Jedi do. Why not? Don't you value what you can learn from your elders? Master Ryan and Osera were more like parents to me than my own parents. They never acknowledged your true potential. They were narrow-minded tyrants, and their subjects were children. But they were wise. They were good men. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to start an argument. I'm still trying to figure things out. My lord, I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. Let me know if I can do anything to make the adjustment easier. I know Jedi are supposed to be patient, but it's never been my strength. How would you feel if suddenly you had a Jedi Master and were serving the Republic? Sick to my stomach. Don't be flippant. I promise I won't let my misgivings interfere with our work. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. I don't understand. I haven't done anything. No, you didn't do anything, but you're Sith. Just released on the Holonet. Sith and the Corellian system killed a group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. I'm sorry, but you can't hold me responsible for the actions of every Sith. What's the Empire gonna do about it? You know the answer as well as I do. Nothing. If there's going to be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. This behavior will destroy the Empire from within. I won't allow it. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more patient. I know Andronicus is rather attached to the ship, but I was wondering if I could fly it now and then. Master Ryan said I showed exceptional aptitude at flying and simulation training, but I've never been able to pilot the real thing. You'd have to get Andronicus to agree, but I have no problem with it. I'll be very careful, I promise. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teachings so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. We do not repress our emotions and we embrace everything that the Force allows. That is what binds us, not the Code. What about the Emperor? And the Dark Council? I thought they governed the Sith. Yes, but like the rest of the Sith, they are torn apart by petty arguments. It can't go on like that, you know. How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. My lord, I must ask a favor of you. Our mission. We cannot hope to accomplish it without help. I'm afraid we won't get much support from the Sith. Not the Sith. The Jedi. Yes, I know. 
There are Jedi who would help us. Who would see that a strong rational empire is the only path to peace. I can see the advantages of having sympathetic Jedi when the time comes to negotiate. Master Simon Walls is known by many as a wise, open-minded Jedi. He brought the Sith Lord Karis Veil to the light and oversaw his initiation into the Jedi. He has retired in seclusion to Alderaan for personal study and meditation, but young Jedi still make pilgrimages to him. I would like to make a pilgrimage, and if possible, get his support. I welcome any support we can get. I'll return quickly, I promise. I'm not a Jedi. He says I'm not a Jedi? Who are you talking about? Master Simon! I came to him for help, and he turned me away. It's not fair. I was the best Padawan Masters Ryan and Osara ever trained. I am a Jedi. Don't let the words of a fool bother you. You're right. I need to calm down. He's... he's just too narrow-minded to see. The return of the Sith in this war has changed things. Sometimes compromise is necessary. Yes, I don't care what Master Simon said. Thank you, my lord, for helping me talk through this. If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? I always wanted to open my own business. Run a shop, start a family. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. I wonder if it was the right thing. I never really got the chance to choose. You can do whatever you want now. I guess I'm still trying to figure out what I want. My lord, I know I'm not officially your apprentice, but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye, but I've learned so much from you and your example. I never would have believed a Sith could follow the light until I met you. You can't judge a person by what they wear, or the color of their lightsaber. You're right. The Jedi teachings about the Sith blinded me. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of, and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. My lord, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to read you this letter I received. I've been writing to my parents. I haven't seen them since I was little. Dear Ashara, we're glad to hear you're happy and well. We're very proud that you've become a Jedi. Asha is nearly 16 and plans to join Republic Special Forces. Love, Mom and Dad. I haven't gotten around to telling them that I'm working with a Sith. I'm not sure they'd understand. You really ought to tell them. You think so? We only just started writing, and it's been 15 years since I last saw them. I guess you're right. I've been thinking more about what Master Simon said, and I think he was wrong. That makes two of us. He believed we were wrong and that you were leading me astray, but he did nothing. Is there some kind of Jedi prison for straying Padawans? That's exactly what I mean. The Jedi's refusal to do what's necessary to fight, it makes them weak. The Jedi will never beat the Empire if they won't take the offensive. And they'll never win peace either if the Empire can't respect them. Peace is a noble goal, but it's not a means to an end. In that particular instance, maybe. But this is a pretty strong reversal for you. No? Could the Sith have surprised us at Coruscant if the Jedi and Republic had been prepared to strike first? A war rages and Master Simon meditates in his clearing. Personal peace is one thing, but apathy? Inaction? These things are unacceptable. I have a question for you, but you must promise not to mock me. Go ahead. Ask. I've never actually played Sabak, or Pezak, or any of those kinds of games. I was wondering if you'd teach me. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe I've never played those games before. 
My lord, I have incredible news. A group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. Last time we tried this, it didn't work out so well. These guys aren't like Master Simon. They're hardliners, very anti-Sith. But their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. Then they're our kind of Jedi. The main Jedi Council will never deal with a Sith unless he turns to the light. A splinter group is exactly what we need. I'm going to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. My lord, thank you. We have new allies in the rogue Jedi, but I couldn't have done it without your training. What did they say? They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You help me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am, and I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes, even ally with a Sith to bring peace to the galaxy. You've learned a lot, Apprentice. Not all the Jedi were won over, of course. Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. Do you ever think maybe we're on the wrong side, doing the wrong thing? I don't think there is a right or wrong side. I think I understand. The galaxy is an intricate place. You think you're doing the right thing, but that it has consequences you never imagined. People do the right things for the wrong motives and the wrong things for the right motives all the time. I just wish I could make sense of it. I've been thinking about the future lately. About us, and about the Empire. It's clear the Empire won't change overnight. I've accepted that. But what about when we're dead? I have many followers. They will carry on my legacy. If you would allow it, I would be honored to pass on your legacy to your followers and your children. And to teach them what I know of the Jedi as well. I can't think of anyone I'd rather have guarding my legacy. Even if we can't change the Empire now, the next generations will learn from your teachings and follow them. <laughs>